Adobe Express is a graphic design tool where you can create social media graphic design using their thousand of templates without having any design experience. They do have a free plan so you can get started immediately. However, if you do upgrade to a premium plan, which is $9.99 US dollars per month, you also get access to some other exciting features. So for the purpose of this video, we will use their free plan and I will click start for free and then log into your Adobe Express account. If you don't have an account create one i'm gonna just click continue with google and once you log into your account this is what your interface would look like so on the top corner we have search all templates so when you click here and uh, search for a particular template that you are looking for it's going to show up so for instance if i am looking for logo because i want to create a logo for my business i will type logo i will click next and then you will come to this section and over here as you can see we have 1560 logo templates already designed by adobe express so over here you can make changes to these logos and customize it for your needs or you can simply click start from scratch on my home screen i can see certain templates that are commonly used so i can pick any one of them and get started they also have some quick actions so whether if you want to remove a background from your picture or resizing a picture converting them to GIF, converting them to a video, you can play around with all of these features. And then we have some popular templates for Instagram stories, for Instagram posts, um, the trending backgrounds and all of that fun stuff. On this section, we have this plus icon. When I click this, I will come to this pop up and over here I can pick any graphic that I want to create. So whether you want to create an Instagram story, you can click that and then you will come to this section. Or if you want to create a video, a web page, a card, a collage, flyer. So just take a look at it, go through it, see what your needs are and just click on the template and start designing. Under the projects section, you can see all the projects that you have created so far. Um, so this is a good way to stay updated with what you're working on, especially when you are working with you know multiple clients. Next, we have the brands section. So this is a good way to create your brand toolkit. So let's say if you are a social media manager and if you're working with like multiple clients, so all you have to do is add your logo, your color palette, your text fonts, and this kit can be used to create content for maybe like an Instagram story, a post, Facebook post and things like that. And that way it also ensures that your content is branded, meaning it has the same textile, uh, the same colors, the same logo. So that way all your post throughout different social media channels look consistent. Next, we have the libraries tab, and this is where you can keep all your digital assets in one place so you can access it while making a design. So if you want to create a library, just click create a library, give it a name, maybe like plant, and then you can add a certain template or maybe a certain project and populate it. So that way, uh, if you want to ever get access um, to a certain asset while you're creating the content, you can just go to the libraries tab and take it from there. Next, we have the schedule tab, and this is a great tool if you want to schedule your social media content. Familiar with tools like Hootsuite or, you know, the Meta Business Manager, uh, but I think Adobe Express is doing really great with the content calendar because it also makes the process a lot more seamless you create the content over here you schedule it um, through the same interface just makes the process simple and easy so let's say for the purpose of this video i want to create an instagram story so i will click this and then i will come to this page so i will click discover and over here you're gonna see different templates photos shapes design assets that you can use to play around with it so let's say i really like this background so i'll take it and I'll place it here and then you have two options either you can allow it to move freely or pin it to the background I'll click move freely and when I click this I can scale it on this section you have some image editing options so for instance if you want to replace this image or delete an image you can click that or if you want to click remove background and just have this hand visible you can do that as well and as you can see, we got rid of the yellow background. So that's good. Then we have the transparency tool. So you can make the image transparent, not so transparent, play around with that. You can also click crop and shape if you want to change the dimension of this image in a certain way. So you can play around with different ratios already crafted by the platform for you, or you can add your custom dimension as well. 
we also have some filter tab over here so this is a great way if you want to add a filter to your image so if you want to make it maybe like green or maybe like matte you can play around with that the other thing you can do is click templates and over here we have existing design templates for us ready to use and you can search a certain template just by typing it out over here so let's say we are a pizza company and we want to have a story about you know our famous cheesy pizza or things like that so i'll just click here and search for pizza we'll click next so let's say i really like this one so i'll click that and then i'll click create from this template and there you go we have a really nice template ready to go so what i can do is i can make changes to a certain element so for instance this text i don't want it to say hot and spicy homemade pizza so i will change it i'll go over here under the edit text button and i'll just say maybe like cheesy pizza 50 percent off and then you can also play around with the font style so if you want to change the font color you can go over there and then search for a font color of your liking if you need a custom color you can also enter the custom color code over here and then play around with different elements and then i can also change the size so if i want it to be a slightly bigger maybe like 132 that looks good we also have some really cool text alignment option over here so if i click this i can put the text like a circle you know maybe like a semicircle like that cheesy pizza 50 percent off so yeah that's a really good way and then we also have some effects tab so if you want to add a certain effect like a shape or a background image to your text you can do that you can also add a shadow to the image if you like and also if you want you can add a certain outline so a really great tool to design your content um i really like that they give me so many options to play around with it so i can get like really really creative with it we also have the photos tab so over here you can upload your own photo if you want or you can search for a adobe stock photo so let's say if i want to search for a picture of pizza i'll hit search and over here you can see we have all of these beautiful images provided by adobe um so let's say i really like this one so i'll take that and i'll drop it over here and then i can scale it as well like that just ignore my design skills right now i know this doesn't look good but i'm just trying to uh, show you the different elements and how it works next we have shapes and icon and over here we do have access to a bunch of uh, you know different components maybe if you want to add like a heart shape to your design element um, you know make it nice and pretty uh, so that's really good and then you can also change the color next we have design assets so over here you get access to effect groups graphic groups illustrations brushes frames different elements so you can scroll through it or search for a certain asset that you need and then just take that asset and drop it to your design one of the really cool thing about adobe express that i like is the access to the layers tool so this is really cool so when i click this i can see that i am right now in my heart shape layer right and let's say if i want to access this layer for example i can just click over here or if i want to get access to the text i can click over here and then i can select my text layer so that's good because when you're working with so many different elements it kind of becomes tricky sometimes to you know select a particular element and make the changes so i can just go over here pick a element that i want to change or edit and then make the changes over here we also have the animation tool which is so important these days and animation is a great way to make your content look so much livelier so we have text animations and we have different style for that so if i click typewriter we have this really nice typewriter animation so let's say if you need a pan photo animation click that and over here you can see we have this really nice motion going on next we have the design tab so over here you can see your content in different templates so let's say i really like this one and i want to see the same content just in a different you know variation and i can see this is what it is gonna look like now let's say i really like this design i feel it's amazing um honestly it's not but let's say for the purpose of this video it is amazing so you can click download and you can download it as an mp4 which is a video a png file a jpg file or maybe a pdf so i want it to be downloaded as a png i'll click that i will click start download 
and as you can see our project has downloaded and that's our project it's nice and ready to go you can post this on your social media you can get a printout whatever you want if you want to share this content you can click share as well and you can schedule it on content calendar you can invite uh, your team members so if you're working with multiple people in your team you can also add their email address and send them an invite so that they can take a look and recommend any changes. You can also send the content to your Google Drive if you want or you can simply hit publish and publish it and then it will be posted directly on your social media channels. Overall, Adobe Express is a great tool to create amazing graphics for your social media and I really like it. So check it out. The link is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in my next one.